The OrcaView XL360 orbiting camera rig makes the cinematic bullet time effect available for professional video shoots and large scale photo booth activations. The largest and most durable of the OrcaView models, the XL's flawless design makes this unit easy to use and quick to set up with no tools required while being able to accommodate up to five guests at a time with improved anti-shake technology. The OrcaView XL is delivered in a durable shipping crate that can easily be moved using a pallet jack or using the accommodating dolly. It can support up to five people and can support cameras such as DSLRs, GoPros, iPhones, and iPads. Every OrcaView XL comes with an OrcaView platform, a telescope and camera arm, a dolly for transport, either a smartphone mount or a tablet mount, four counterweights, a foot switch, a wireless remote, a 15 foot power cable, and a mounted controller box. All right, let's dive into the Orchid UXL assembly. Begin by plugging the power cable into the controller box and then plugging the other end into an outlet. Next, connect the foot switch to the mounted controller box. On the controller box, ensure that the power is switched to AC Set the direction of rotation to either forward or reverse, and select your speed. Some of the settings on your controller box not discussed in this video provide hardware for future software releases and can be ignored for the time being. The OrcaView XL is shipped to you in transport mode. When moving or shipping the XL unit, always put the unit in this mode. Taking the unit out of transport mode will allow you to utilize the XL's isolation technology. Isolation mode is not required for use, but it will ensure a shake-free camera shot, even if your camera does not have built-in stabilization. Isolation mode should not be used when filming at high rotation speeds when adding very heavy loads to the top of the OrcaView. Always test the safety of your rotation at slower speeds before accelerating the unit. To move the unit from transport mode to isolation mode, move each of the six barrel bolts on the OrcaView legs to the unlocked position. To move the unit back into transport mode, while the unit is still on the floor, gently lift each leg and move the barrel bolt back to the locked position. Now, to be able to connect the telescope and camera arm, you'll need to loosen the thumb screw running through the bottom of the arm. Don't remove the pull pin unless you feel the need to adjust the angle of the arm. Open the arm to the pull pin and slide it to the desired length over the connection arm underneath the OrcaView. Next, replace the thumb screw that was removed from the bottom portion of the telescoping arm. Now add the four counterweights underneath the OrcaView. With the arm mounted on the OrcaView, you can extend the height of the camera mount. To extend the OrcaView arm, unscrew the thumb screw near the angle bracket and pull out the top portion of the arm until the holes align. Then replace the thumb screw. If you wish to extend the arm higher, you can do so using the inner extension arm. Using the thumb screw, you are able to adjust the camera mount hinge. Now you can add your desired camera mount to the top of the arm. Then add your camera. The OrcaView unit is now ready to be turned on. Turn on the unit by stepping on the foot switch or by using the wireless remote. Be sure to test the unit at lower speeds and ensure that the path of the rotation is clear. You are now ready to record your first 360 video. For information regarding our recommended software options, look in the description of this video or scroll to the bottom of the page. If you have any questions or would like to purchase a unit, we're always here to help. Just shoot us an email at info at or submit an inquiry through our website. We'd love to put one of these units in your hands.